uh, sorry, Jesus' birth. And we're celebrating his birth. And what is his birth? His birth is that he came down from heaven and he became a man and he died on that cross. And he died on that cross to deliver us from the greatest problem of history, and that is sin, S-I-N. And sin is the breaking of God's law. The breaking of God's law. And we all break God's law. We all break His commandments. Don't lie, don't steal, don't commit adultery. Honor your father and mother. Honor the Sabbath day. We all break these laws. And the Bible says we all fall short of the glory of God. And, and God the Father wants to bring you home to heaven. He wants to bring you home to heaven and to enjoy the fellowship of being with God and to enjoy the fellowship of being with the Father. And the Father paid everything for you. The Father paid your debt for you by sending His Son. And His Son, when He died on that cross, paid that debt for you. He paid that debt on that cross so that any mistakes that you've made, anything that you've ever done wrong, any failure, any weakness, anything that you've done wrong, Jesus Christ died on your behalf. He died on your... Well, let's have a discussion about it, bro. Don't shotgun me and run off. And he died on that cross. And he died on that cross to bring us home to heaven so that we could have fellowship with the Father. And God's plan is moving. God's plan is working. God's plan is on target. What's the plan? The plan is to save souls. The plan is to redeem those who will be redeemed. To bring home the children who need forgiveness those who want to be forgiven those who want a second chance those who want to be brought home to heaven God has provided everything for you and me in the sacrifice and life of Jesus Christ so there is this new heaven and a new earth that's coming and if you want to be part of that new heaven and earth if you want to go to heaven if you want to be with God forever and you want to be part of the new heaven and earth then the way into the new heaven and earth is through Jesus Christ you see Jesus Christ is the son of God he said I am the way, the truth and the life he said before Abraham was I am he said that uh, he is the bread of life he said that he is the, 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 the before Abraham was I am and he, he, he is the great Almighty Saviour, the great Almighty God. And as the great Almighty Saviour and the great Almighty God, He came and paid a price for you. He paid the debt for you. He paid that debt on the cross. He, he humbled Himself and allowed Himself to be put on the cross. And as He was dying on that cross, He was dying for everything that you and I did wrong. Every failure, every mistake, every weakness, <coughs> everything. He poured out his life on that cross. The world will never ever be a blessing. Ultimately, it will all fall apart. They tried to build the world, man's way at the Tower of Babel. They built that great big tower and they thought they could outwit God. They thought they could outsmart God and outwit God. And they built that great big tower and God said no and he made them all speak in different languages and they had to leave the Tower of Babel and they, they couldn't fulfill what they tried to do. They tried to make a new world order with the great Tower of Babel, but it failed. And man has always been trying to make his new world order. The European Union and all these great empires of the past, man has always tried to build his empire, his new world order, but he has always failed because man will never ever prosper if man rejects God. If man rejects God, then God will reject man. And man can never prosper nationally, individually, if he rejects God. He can never, ever, ever, ever prosper. Man can never prosper 
The Tower of Babel, they tried to have a new world order, it failed. The European Union, a new world order, it'll fail. It'll all come crashing down because man can never ever prosper if man rejects God. I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. You lie all week. That's rejecting God. You lie all week and I tell you what, it'll be a bad week. It'll be a bad week. You reject God, it'll be a bad week. You keep lying, it'll be a bad week. You keep stealing, it'll be a bad week. I tell you that now. You get angry with people, it'll be a bad week. If you reject God, it'll be a bad day, it'll be a bad week. But God's love is there for you. Do you want to ask a question, Rob? Got a question? That's a good question. Why do I believe in God? Because there's so much evil in the world. If I didn't believe in God, I couldn't cope with all the evil. I couldn't cope with all the evil. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you what, it's a good question. You're, you're a nice, honest guy. I really respect you. Uh, yeah. But let me, let me just say this. Let's go the skeptic side. And let's say we don't believe in God. Right? We're on their side now. What do we get? You live, you die, and boom. <laughs> That's it. So what that means is, you're a good guy. That's it. That's it. That, now if there's a spiritual world, there, there, there must have been someone higher than them to make them. Come on. Human intelligence. So, so where did the spirit come from? Do you think the soul is eternal? Do you think the soul is eternal? Do you believe I believe the word of God, yeah. I believe it. I believe it was inspired. I believe. I believe. I believe. Listen, listen. Be respectful. Be respectful. I, I, I believe, right, that the Bible is the word of God. Do you know why? On the day of burning in 1960, Chairman Mao. He had the day of burning, he had all the Bibles burnt in China, right? Not yet. He burnt all the Bibles. Guess how many Christians are in China now? Guess how many? Three. Seventy million. <laughs> Seventy million. Do you know what that tells you? The Bible. But, but let me just finish and then you can come in. What that tells you is if, seven, if he burnt all the Bibles and the 70 million Christians now in China, shows you the Bible's indestructible. Amen. Over to you. So, is Allah, does Allah exist? Because millions believe in him. I don't believe in Allah, you know why? I'll show you why. In the Quran, it says that Jesus did not die on a cross. The Bible says he died on a cross. Now, who are you going to believe? John, who knew Jesus, said he died on a cross. Or someone who came 600 years after Jesus and never met Jesus. Who are you going to believe? What's the word God before Jesus? Yeah, that, well, Jesus is God. He was born a man and woman. Joseph and Mary. That's a, oh, let me, let me, let, let, let me come. You, you made a good point. You made a good point, right? Yeah. But when he was born of a virgin, yeah, the Spirit of God was in him. Listen, listen. And it says in Isaiah 9, listen, uh, 600 years before Jesus was born, he said this. His name shall be Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. That's his name. He's God in the flesh. Isaiah. Isaiah. Well, Isaiah. It was a man. It was a man. They were all men. What? All wrote what they believed at the time. It doesn't. It isn't. It isn't relevant in the 21st century. Okay. Can I come back to you? Don't don't, don't run. Up. Uh, just go with me just for a second. Yeah. Right. Imagine there is a God. I know you don't believe in a God. Imagine there is a God. Is it not conceivable? that God would speak. It wouldn't be a deaf and dumb God, would he? No, he wouldn't. I've right. never heard it. No, no. Heard it but, so if there is a God, he wouldn't be deaf and dumb. No, no. Right. So it would be that if he is a God, he would speak. Absolutely. So I say that there is a God and he spoke through Isaiah. Well, you can believe that. I don't believe that. I believe Isaiah was a man. Jesus was a man. A good man. He told us how we should live and it was a good way to live. I'll prove to you Isaiah wrote from God. I'll prove it to you. I'll show you. Is God Almighty? All powerful. Yes. 
So why is all the evil still going on in this country and all over the world? Let me explain. Can you have love when you make people into a robot? If you're married and you've got a wife, right, and you make her into a robot, so she's no longer a human, she's a, a robot, right? I am. Right. Can a robot who you are forcing, programming to love you, is that real love? No, no. No. So, yeah, yeah, right. So, can you have love without freedom? You can have love without freedom, yeah. yeah. Nelson Mandela loved all his people all the time he was in prison. Yeah, but if he was forced to do and think the way he thought. But he didn't. He came out, he came out and as a free man, he still thought the same. Yeah, he kept his freedom in his mind. Yeah. So God made man to have freedom and in his freedom, that had a choice to love or not love. And he chose, listen, listen, in that freedom, he chose not to love. Man chose to rebel against God. Nelson chose to follow his spirit. Yes. His spirit is soul and his belief. And I, 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 I hope that you follow yours for the rest of your days. But I, you will never, never ever convince me of the God. Too much evil in the world. Let me ask you, let me ask you before you go, what is it you believe? I believe we're here, we're born, we, we live our lives. The more good we do, the better our spirit will be when we go. And where we go, I have no idea. But I know there's a spirit world because I've had contact with it. Okay. Now, 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 now here's the question. Now, let me finish, let me finish. Here's the question. Here's the question. What do you think of Jesus Christ in your thinking? I think he was a very good man with good principles and a good policy for living. Well, what do you think when he said in Isaiah chapter 10, when he said, Before Abraham was, I am. And they went to stone him because they said he was claiming to be God. And Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. What do you think of that? I think it's just what men wrote 2,000 years ago in a book. Myths, legends, not true history. Some of it may be true, but most of it is myth and legend. But as, a, as an intelligent man, as an intelligent man, and a nice man, a very, very nice man, have you studied this issue? Have you studied it in depth? Yeah. I've studied it all my life. I read the Bible when I was younger and I gradually realised that it was quite a lot of good stories, but stories. No, Adam and Eve didn't exist. The earth was formed 13.8 billion years ago. And none of the Old Testament is true. It's all legend, myths and stories. Okay. So, so, so in John 3.16, in John 3.16, he says this, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. What are your thoughts about God so loved the world, that means you, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. In other words, Christ died on a cross for anything you've done wrong, he died and took the punishment for you. So have you ever lied? Have you? Have, have, Absolutely. Lied. Yeah. Have you, have you ever stolen anything in your life? When I was young, yeah. So whatever you've lied, whatever you've stolen, when Christ died on that cross, he died to take away your sin. So if you believe in him, you can be forgiven, go past the spirits that you're talking about, and go into heaven. Yeah? Do you want to do that, bro? To do you can do it today. You can do it today. I cannot believe that Jesus was not born of man and woman because it's scientifically impossible for a woman to have a child without being inseminated by a man. Let me put this to you. If there is a God, you know, I know you don't believe in a God, but if there was, if there is a God, I believe there is, but if there is a God, is it not possible he could do miracles? Uh, is it not possible? No. It's possible. It's possible. Be fair. <laughs> Be fair. Be fair. In a minute. In a minute, bro. It's whatever you want it to be, people. You believe in whatever you want to believe, yeah? That's all that matters. So, it is possible. Here's another question. What do you believe, what do you think when Jesus said this? In John 14, he said, I am the way, 
the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father but through me. What do you, what do you think when he said, I am the way, the truth and the life? I, I think he believed that at the time. I think he believed that. But ever since people have been dying in misery, he believed in Jesus and God and died in misery. So where's the power for the Almighty God? I don't, I don't think that. that. Is, is there any suffering that works in a man or a woman that can make a man a better person? There may be, but I... In a, in a child dying of starvation in Africa, children in, in Syria being bombed to death and burned by chemicals? No, no. There's nothing, nothing that good for those kids would do. But was that by God or man? That's by man, but the, an man. almighty God wouldn't let it happen. But if God came back right now, for you, right this minute, are you ready to meet him? If God came back, I'll, I'll explain about the Syrian war now. If God came back right now, are you ready to meet him? Absolutely, I would shake his hand. So your sins are forgiven? Your sins are forgiven. Thank you. No, no, are your sins? Are your sins are forgiven? Sins forgiven? What, when the God comes? Well, if I could meet God, I would hope so, yes, yes. Yeah, but but you're, I don't believe it. But if, let, just let me explain about the Syrian war, right? Yeah. right? What I'm trying to say is, if God came back right now, you're not ready because you're not believing in Jesus. Just, just explain. If you believe, but if you believe in him as your saviour, you're forgiven, you're ready when he comes. Now why God allows the wars and all the things that happen, is giving in the world time to repent. He's giving everybody time to repent. If he came back now, there'd be millions going to hell, billions going to hell, because they're not ready. So he's giving them time, right? But one day, listen, one day, one day there's going to be a judgment day. One day, yeah, one day, one day, one day, one day the rich and the poor, the, the evil and the good, every human being is going to be judged and they're going to be on the same level and they're going to be judged on two things one what did they do with jesus did they believe in him and two what did they do with their life did they go out sharing love did they go out caring for people you know those are the two foundations are you believing in christ that's your salvation not what you do but who you believe in christ because i could believe in that post but that ain't going to save me it's believing in christ yeah but then what do I do with that salvation? Do I live it out? You, you are such a nice man, and I pray. It's a pleasure to meet you. And I, you keep on with your beliefs. I will stick with mine. And maybe we'll meet one day up there. But, Excuse me. But, how come 